I guess we are. Yeah, yeah, we definitely live again. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay. All right, we got now everything we need, I think. I hope. We got ourselves some cream. We're saved now. I just assume that the stream quality is fine once more. At least I hope. Uh, the stream quality is set to extremely low latency, which is good. I guess you people might want to hear some music in the meantime as well, so let's get that rolling as well. Uh, this is a VLC source. And... Yep, that is correct. Now, we have to be put in a folder. Uh, let me look for the folder real quick. What do you mean? Give me one second. Yeah, here we go. Uh, sounds and stream music. XSM. That's what we want. Alright. You know, welcome back. Music is probably has been a bit loud. I hope it's uh, fine as it is now. And we're back again. Uh, this time I got the cream that we need. So we need 125 milliliter of these, and uh, we also need um, something clean to put everything in. Oh, the music is very loud, isn't it? Uh, let's. Like so, maybe? Is that fine? From the background music, I hope it's... That you still hear me in a decent way. Just have to clean out the, the tool real quick, which we'll be needing. Alright, it appears we are ready once more. So, in here go 50 milliliters of port wine. This is uh, the wine we'll be using. With a nice sound as well, I, I didn't think you could quite hear it. So we'll go for 50 milliliters, so halfway through. Yeah, about right. So we'll be needing 100 milliliters of uh, port or a mixture of port and red wine. And the other part is over here, which we line. This is uh, white, and this is the red wine. Right? Well, this is a standard cooking wine, r cooking red wine. Still smells usable. There we go. And now we can put the wine already away. We just have to mixer this thing. Uh, with the cream that uh, I had to get real quick. Let's give this a go. So this is 125 milliliters plus 100 milliliters of red wine, as I said before. And the dish we're making is called Jumbo au Porto. I'm making a mess over here, Jesus.
All right, we got this one in there. Not very clean, I know, but it's fine. Because we're just now gonna mix this thing with about three uh, centimeters. Yeah, I know, it's a very accurate measure, so like about this much. <laughs> So, my girlfriend said you should put in about 3 centimeters of uh, tomato puree, concentrated tomato something. I don't know how, how to, to call this in, uh, in English. That's what it looks like, tomato puree on uh, German. And we'll put that in and then we mix it very well together. And for this I'll be using uh, chopsticks, as this is the way I am most used to, because I've been uh, cooking with my girlfriend for a while. And that just worked for me for this, for these kind of things. Alright, uh, with that prepared, we can also now throw on the oven, which you will unfortunately, unfortunately not be able to see. And I think it was 220 degrees or 240, I think it was 220. Um, Right? Exactly, it was uh, 220 degrees Celsius, and in the meantime, while this is heating up, we can prepare, oh, that was loud, we can prepare the ham. So, you go to the side for a second, uh, let me, let me get a towel real quick, make these things clean again, there we go. So, we take our things here, and then we'll be preparing our ham. It is quite in the middle, so that is nice. Alright, we'll be taking our ham and be rolling it up, like so. And then we'll put them neatly in the right half of the way. We'll be using two packages simply because we I still had them and this is not usually what uh, the amount you usually take. Usually you take about seven, seven to ten of these uh, rolls for one person uh, because that is usually enough because there are, is also going to be some pasta which you can actually oh, sorry, uh, see over here. These are called uh, farfalle um, that we'll be eating together with them. And just continue rolling things up. Actually, let me look this in the live preview instead of this very delayed YouTube preview. Yeah, okay. Do you cook often? Um, most of the time, yes. But sometimes I go with uh, like some instant menus that I have to prepare myself. But uh, like cooking for real, like standing in the kitchen for off an hour, an hour. Um, not as often as I would like, because when I'm alone, I'm most of the time just too lazy to cook stuff. And then I'll just go with uh, something like I had uh, for lunch, which I have another package of. Some called Dim Sum, which are some, uh, I don't know from which nation they come from, probably from Vietnam or China, which is shrimp in a dumpling, I think the correct terminology and c6 ham exactly exactly c6 ham pre-farmed and everything <laughs> so but yeah I'm, I unfortunately don't cook uh, often enough when I'm alone like when uh, when my girlfriend is here that's not really an issue then I tend to cook like every day twice usually once or twice uh, depending on if we're both at home if she is here, then uh, we have usually two dishes per day. Most of them freshly made, like this one. So like this would usually be enough for one person, but uh, as I said before, I have two packages of these. And uh, therefore we'll be making both of them because they are also about to expire soon. Like on the 20th, today we have the 18th, so better not waste. You like dim sum? Very nice. Uh, what makes you happy in life? Oh boy. Um, 
<laughs> there are very many things. One of the things being obviously hanging out with my friends and uh, sometimes even cook for them. Just, in well, general, I like to cook for my friends. And uh, usually when I cook for them, we have a, a very nice time. So that's one of my favorite pastimes as well. Like next to playing video games and stuff. Yeah, uh, like I have so, so many things that I'm interested in. And also get very easily interested in things. So, yeah, there's a lot of things that can make, uh, that makes my life happy, <laughs> to answer your question. No special name it was, yeah, yeah. No special name indeed. It's a very special name. So, and once that is done, we can throw over the, the red wine with the cream that we prepared mixture of port and red wine and throw that into the oven at uh, 220 degrees for about 20 minutes and in the meantime we'll be preparing some pasta as well I think the music is a bit too loud okay let's put that down a little bit hope that's better I mean uh, like I can only see like a little preview. I, I don't really hear the music on my own. Like, I can only see the the metrics, and that these are about even now, or were before. Maybe a bit. Uh, my voice was a bit louder usually, and uh, the music was a bit lower. So I thought it was okay, but um, it is hard to hard to judge from just seeing the, the metrics going up and down. Um, so I'm very happy when you when you give me. A uh, little feedback. It's always, always appreciated. Like, I take all criticism to heart. Whether I make use of them is a different question though, but I always take them to heart and think about it if I could use them or improve them in some way. As per usual when cooking, please wash your hands in between doing things. So, is, uh, is the oven ready? The oven is not quite ready, but uh, soon enough, I assume. So now you just pour this cream, wine, and tomato something mixture over there. Put on every little bit of ham, you want a bit of that sauce. Nah, a little bit of tomato. This piece here just didn't unfortunately get mixed up that well unlucky but whatever it will be nice in the end you will cook rice uh, no today we'll be going with uh, some Italian pasta I Jim I would assume you to know what these are uh, these are so-called farfalle and we'll be using barilla uh, I just see the color is actually terrible on the cam uh, maybe I can adjust that a bit Uh, a bit better. Oh Jesus! Let's put that to auto. I can't put it to auto. Oh Jesus! The color is really bad. Okay, this is the only auto thing. Alright. Ah, here I can change the colors. Huh? Oh, like this is not looking too terrible. My hand is like very bright. I think that's as close as it gets. I mean, there's another layer of um, of glass between the the camera and the actual stove. I think is the English term. So this is uh, obviously not gonna help. Maybe I can turn off this light here. That actually looks a lot better. A little bit dark, but definitely better. Yeah, but this is what we're gonna make as well. This will take about 10 minutes in uh, the hot water. So keep that in mind. Uh, this will now go into the oven for about 20 minutes at uh, 200 degrees Celsius.
sorry, did I did I say uh, 200 degrees? It is 220. You technically can see my face in there. Ooh. Uh, so yeah, that's what we'll be doing now. We are taking a. Huh. Uh, I wanted to use a small pot, but uh, unfortunately, it, that one is in the wa washing machine or in the dishwasher. So we'll be using the oversized one. We'll be using this. Chongus, which is not really necessary. This is like usually if you want to make uh, like a full package or two of pasta. So, not quite necessary for the amount we're gonna make. But, uh, well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Just hope that. Just hope that the water noise isn't too high, like too annoying. It is lower than the music, so I think it's okay. I'm trying to put my face in between the microphone and the water source. I can just mute myself. One second. Alright, there we are again, um, and we'll be going with full heat over here, get this one on power. You can't actually see, that's unfortunate. Like here we have a power button uh, with our stove that it just goes to the maximum power. And that's obviously what we want to do for um, heating up water. Obviously, we'll need salt as, uh, well, at least Italian pasta requires that you add salt. There are some uh, Japanese ones that probably don't, I think. They don't really, really, really need them uh, because they are pre-salted, which I find a very, very weird thing. But um, that's apparently what uh, the thing is in, in Asia, or in, at least in Japan, so that the people actually don't really have to do anything else. Oh god, I hope, that, I hope that's not too much background noise. Ugh. I re would really need a different laptop to make this optimal, because uh, with this laptop I unfortunately cannot use my usual filtering things, so that is unfortunate. Um, because on my, on my desktop I could, like, um, how should I say this? filter these noises out. The software is so smart that it just filters these out on, on its own. You don't have to add anything or something. It just does it perfectly. Which is unfortunate that I cannot do it on my voicing here. Uh, you know Zhongli is gonna have his rerun and I wanted to ask if you will pull on other accounts too. Uh, sure, if you would like me to pull on your account, I, I would definitely love to do so. I mean, I can't guarantee you that I will be getting him because my luck in lately has not been has not been good, not good at all. But uh, if you wish, I can definitely do so on your account. Yeah. In the meantime, while you uh, while you have nothing to do, make sure to start cleaning up your things so that you can, uh, well, that you're over faster. Like this thing over here, just wash it out real quick and uh, put it into the washing machine, or if you don't have one, uh, start cleaning it by hand. I just realized I have got nothing to drink, so let me get my glass real quick. The advantage of having a wireless headset is that I can walk around the whole um, apartment without having, how should I say this, like any issues. Like with my other camera, or <laughs> my other camera, sure. Um, with my desktop I can obviously only use the, can only talk to you while being in front of the PC. So that's quite nice. Right, um, since this is a dish that already involves wine, you obviously want to also add some of uh, some red wine usually. And I still have a red wine called uh, from Epicuro. I, I assume Jim does know that. This is from Apulia in uh, or Puglia in uh, Italy. 
Oh, I have to turn that on, it will be noisy. Okay, you don't hear it that well, I think. So, we'll be going with this red wine, uh, like one glass is usually enough. This is a Merlot. Um, I just know the German thing of the fruit. Grape, Merlot grape. And that is what we'll be enjoying with today. Like one glass is usually enough for me at uh, one dish. Sometimes I take two, but uh, not really, not really more than that. By the way, my apartment is about what is it, 80 square meters. I have no clue what this is in feet. So, oh shit. Oh boy. Uh, do you do you remember when I put in the um? Like the thing into the oven? I can't really remember, unfortunately. I think it has been about six minutes. Is that could that be? Or about four minutes? Let's go with uh, four minutes. So another sixteen minutes ish. No. Just no. <laughs> Alright, here you go. This is uh, toast and stuff. Oh, it, it definitely shows that it uh, has been opened like two days ago. Because when I'm alone, I don't really drink one about one liter in, in one day or so. That's not happening. But it's still quite tasty. Six minutes and thirty seconds. Ah, nice. So I was about right. No, I was uh, was about two two and a half minutes too fast. Okay. Well, this is still cooking. Uh, we could already technically add the salt, but I still have to put away some things that I have needed to prepare for today's stream. So that is something. Next time, I hope I'll be constantly in front of the well in the kitchen. So that you actually have something to watch and not just, well, watch stuff uh, start cooking. <laughs> I doubt that, is, that this is really entertaining. Oh. That's a bit better, huh? Alright, the water is cooking, so let us add some salt. About one handful of salt. It's usually what you take. For this amount of water, maybe a bit more. Like so. Put it in there and put the heat uh, lower so that it doesn't. Well, that it doesn't. Not that this happens with the camera as it is now. <laughs> you can't see anything, can you? I probably have to raise this one higher. The background noise is gonna be a bit, a bit annoying though. Yeah, though this is not optimal. I have to get a find a re resolution for that one, or a solution, not a resolution. I'm not talking about um, camera options and stuff. Resolution is definitely the wrong word. Anyhow, we'll be going with the whole package of farfalle. These take about ten minutes ish. Maybe take a bit, uh, take or give a bit. So in you guys go. There we go. And if you have something like this around, like this tool here, um, use these because with this hole, uh, the smaller things tend to get, stay inside or go through this uh, hole and just make things a bit more pleasant or easier. Remember to swirl things around in the beginning because the, in the beginning is the easiest part where they can stuck to the bottom. Um, of the pot and this is not something you want. In the meantime obviously get rid again of your ingredients, put the salt away, it does not need to be close to your um, to, to the steam which will, uh, will be annoying in the long run. So we are at, uh, I put it in like 30 seconds ago so add 
35 we'll have to take it out okay in the meantime get rid of your stuff that you don't need anymore so do you have enough space in the kitchen very important well, it will uh, last for another one. Nice. I can do this dish once more without having to restock on uh, port wine. Which is very nice. I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna do like the, the eating part on stream. Because, um, as I said in the past... Hey, Lucky! Welcome back! Uh, as I said in the past, um, my girlfriend is the one that's sort of paranoid about stuff. And therefore, I would like me to not be on camera because of her. Um, so I guess I'll be eating in the kitchen for this time around. I don't have a, uh, a, a camera at the well table yet, and I don't know how I would install a camera like this fast. I just don't know how. <laughs> so I'll be taking the food into the kitchen once more after it is done. Just have to get rid of the cartridge or cardboard so that I can give it away next time the people are coming to gather it. I make most use out of uh, my dishwashing machine as I can. It's getting a bit blurry again, huh? I really have to get an idea about uh, how to solve this. You can't even. Uh, this is annoying to do. I have, maybe I have to find some coding that I can use. That would be ideal. I also have to open the window, I think. And get a little bit more airflow through the apartment. Get this done better. Also, you are in the kitchen. Okay, wait. <laughs> no, um... Like, uh, I can show you my microphone base station here. Ah, it's, it's, it's just in screen, okay. Uh, like, this is my station that I use. It is an Astro A50, if that says something to you. And it is a wireless headset. Um, however, I kind of react allergic to it, which is, uh, like, to, to, the, to the cushion. Which is not ideal. <laughs> so I'll have, to, I'll have to buy a new one uh, soon. That uh, will not be as terrible for me, health-wise. In the meantime, I can actually show you how the the ham is uh, looking, and it's looking very good already. Still have like uh, eight minutes to go, but damn, does it look good! It's starting to look real good. This is smart, by the way. Not quite sharp, unfortunately. Eh. Doesn't look really good on the camera. Like, camera through a window or through a glass through on a camera is not great. But yeah. Uh, not that uh, good. Get Apple AirPod Pro. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Um, like, the thing that I like are over ear headphones. And um, in-ear headphones, I kind of hate. Like the one exception that I have that works really well for me are the Sony ones. I ha should have them close by. One second. There where you expect it to be. The thing is, I can only blame myself because I, I'm the only one home currently, and I've used them last. Unlucky. Ah, here they are. Like the apartment, luckily, isn't that big, so I can, I can find find the stuff that I need fairly fast. Is it still too hot? Oh, Jesus! Not getting a clear image. Oh, you were able to see it? Nice. Let's get this uh, done again. So, like, the headphones that I'm using are these from uh, from Sony. These are the only in-ear headphones that really work for me. Uh, all others, I just... It, it, it hurt. It hurt using them. So, 
I prefer to not use uh, any other headsets and especially the um, like I tested when uh, the Apple headphones way way back uh, like in something akin to high school just for Switzerland uh, which is technically named something else but um, they really really hurt me over time and I it just that was just a no I just can't use them and also the fact that I'm not using a um, how should I put this I'm not I'm not using an iPhone um, also makes things painful because Apple is is a, a true Karen and does not allow Android users to make upgrades for their headphones for which they paid and uh, that's not something I really want to support it is so uh, so cool home people can not do without saying lucky I'm sorry it's so cool home people cannot do without saying lucky I guess so not quite sure what you meant but I, I guess you wouldn't lie to people would you I hope the, the background noise isn't too bad. I can assume there is some. Uh, it should be around the same uh, volume as the background music. I hope that, that like evens it out a bit. But I'm not quite sure how good it is. Like using word lucky. Ah, yeah, I see. I mean, lucky is, well, a good word. It, it's about luck. And uh, like, unlike many people, I have to say I do have a lot of luck. Which I'm very uh, grateful about. But yeah, it's that. Uh, another three minutes and then the pasta should potentially be ready. And then we'll have to get rid of the water and stuff and, uh, well, firstly try if it's actually done. And uh, then let it drop off a second. In the meantime, I can get, uh, I have to make some more space over here. Because, like, y you can't really see it, but like I've got like... 10 more or 20 more centimeters over here that you can see like this is uh, you can see my thumb over here yeah like one one hand wide to this side and there I'm, I'm at the wall and over to this side over here where my laptop standing I've got like half a meter or so like in total and then I'm at the other wall again which is not really great but yeah You don't li really like pasta? I assume you mean pasta? Or the post pasta? Pasta? I'm not quite sure. Like, I mean, there's always some things that m people uh, like differently, so... No, no reason to feel bad about it. I think uh, that's what makes life interesting, no? Anyhow, the... Stuff is looking all the time a little bit better. Pasta, yeah. You, you don't like pasta that much. It's fine. It's very much fine. Alright. And we'll be already readying our plate over here. And this is a dish usually eaten with knife and fork. You could... Could you use it differently? I don't think so. Well, there's always some ways to use it differently, I guess, but not typically. Cooked rice is the best. Eh, well, it depends. I my personal favorite is pasta, but but I'm also partly Italian, so that isn't really <laughs> fair. I guess uh, all Italian people like pasta a lot. And I have to mention, I'm not fully um, Italian, but I'm partly Italian. But I've lived my whole life in Switzerland. I'm, I'm well, culture-wise, I'm definitely more Swiss than, Swiss than anything else. Uh, but when it comes to food, oh boy, I, uh, I'm very much an Italian when it comes to food. But that's a good thing, I think. I think the Italian kitchen or cuisine is one of the best, if not the best, kitchen out there. I, I, I personally also prefer the Italian uh, cuisine over the French cuisine. So that's that. Hey, Rohan! Shall 
Chawanki, you are new here. I haven't seen you around, but welcome to the stream. I hope you'll be staying here and enjoying it. Today we are only having a test stream. Um, we're making some uh, Jambo au Porto, as it's called, which is in the oven right now and will be for another minute or two. And then that is ready. And as a side dish, we'll be making pasta, not something really typical for a French dish. Oh, here, there it is. These 20 minutes are over. Uh, let's go for another two minutes. I think they can uh, make use of that. Uh, but yeah, well, making pasta uh, isn't a terrible connection uh, or combination. French and Italian kitchen or cuisine are fairly close together. All right, about 20, 10 minutes are over, so let's let's try this, and let's hope we're not burning our throat. Oh, I almost let it on a bit too long, unfortunately. Alright, uh, can I touch this without burning myself? Yeah, almost. Alright, and back you go. Did the one guy escape? Nothing on the wrong side. Excellent. All right, that's our pasta ready. Um, you can add in some olive oil or butter if you prefer, just so they don't stick together. Just a little bit. I mean, this is half a kilo, so you that is, you can add some without having to fear that it will distort the the taste too much. Oh, you didn't really see it. Damn it. I wish I had like a wider angle so I could like a wider angle so I could cover everything. Uh, but that's unfortunate. All right, uh, this is done as well. The two minutes are over. And let's take out the good stuff, the good ham, the good ham. Oh. you in the front and look at that it looks fairly crispy that isn't actually that crispy because it's well sauce obviously and the color unfortunately isn't that great uh, because the lighting isn't perfect but uh, this is these are some things that we can improve over time since this is only a test stream it's not really an issue oh it oh, no 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 that looks more close to reality than the other one isn't really that close can we maybe zoom in a bit? I'm Japanese, so it's kind of obvious uh, that I like rice. Oh yeah, so the <laughs> like my girlfriend is also half Japanese, so I, I know what you mean. She's definitely all about the rice. Anyhow, let's get the things over. Oh shit, did I, is everything dirty? Oh no. Uh, Alright, uh, time to improvise a bit. But yes, in, if you, in case you're Japanese, uh, you will probably like this dish quite as well. Um, because, like I said, my girlfriend is also half Japanese. And this is like one of the dishes she likes to do the most, because it's fairly simple to do. You basically have to roll up some ham. Why am I preparing two of them? I don't need them at all. Uh, you have to prepare, uh, like, rolls of ham, put them in, mix some uh, port wine, port wine with some cream, and then you put it in the oven for for 20 minutes. I don't know how um, used you are to using the oven, because uh, in most Japanese households you don't really have ovens, as far as I'm concerned, or what I know about. Um, but if you have it, that's obviously great. Also, should be taking that closer. Don't do it like I don't do it like I do. Do it. Do as I say. All right, this is suboptimal. Let me take a different tool. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry, that was loud, probably. <laughs> and then you add this on the side. Like so. And then maybe a little bit of sauce. Oh, let's put also these two. Let's put these two over. The other two, if you make it professionally, you put these like I did so uh, totally intentionally on top. 
And then you add some of that lovely, lovely sauce. Remember, this uh, thing is still very hot. So please only touch it with uh, some, uh, how are they called in English? Covers? Let's, let's just say covers. And put some of the sauce over there. Right, and then you are at a point where you can enjoy it. Potentially you have to add some more salt, but it's not really necessary. Oh yeah, um, as a Lino, as you are Japanese, make sure not to add too, uh, too much wine if you don't really go well with alcohol. I've heard some funny stories where, like in a typical Swiss dish, which is called um, fondue, which is like melted cheese, and you typically add some white wine to it. And some friends of, or some family, uh, how should I say this? Some other friends of my Japanese girlfriends, like from Japan, came over to Switzerland and there they ate it regularly. Uh, or they just eat it as per usual because this is something you do in winter. And, well, they said they couldn't drink it or eat it because it has too much wine in it. It was too strong, too much liquor uh, or too much alcohol. And th there's that. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, maybe, you know what, I can just move this one a bit closer. Oh, so that's how it looks like. Rolls of ham and with some pasta, with this lovely, lovely sauce, which I'm going to enjoy now. Mm. Maybe I let it in a bit too long, which is unfortunate, but damn is it good. I hope you don't, you can't hear me like eating the food. No, you can't. Okay, that's good. But yeah, usually I would um, go over to the, to the table, but I haven't really prepared everything yet, which is unfortunate. But uh, yeah, that's what I would usually be doing. Next time I probably um, have a camera at the table as well. I can just move my laptop over there and then we're good to go. But yeah, for today we will be happy to do it like so. I'm half German too, so it should be fine. Yeah, yeah then it's fine. German is famous for its beer. Yes, it is. But I personally find that Swiss beer is... It depends on which beer. Some some are better, some definitely aren't. And also Italian beer isn't really b b bad. Also Czech, like most European beer are fine. Especially like if you are at Central or Northern Europe, you're probably fine. All right, here you go, cheers. Lucky, don't forget your girlfriend's food also, yeah. No, no, uh, you mean like get in, putting us um, portion uh, away for her. No, I don't have to do that because she is currently in Japan and en is enjoying her five weeks of holidays, which which I'm definitely envy about. I just dropped uh, like a drop of this juicy sauce on my foot, but luckily it landed on the, on the cloth so it didn't burn me straight away. That was just nicely warm. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Should I just continue eating on stream and uh, and reading your messages? <laughs> I haven't I haven't thought that part through yet. I don't even know what uh, kind of music is currently playing. I just know it's one of uh, Vixento because that's all music I'm using. That's it. Oh yeah, um, Lino. Just I'm just very curious. Are you living close to, uh, or are you living in the Kanto region? Because the chances are quite high, I mean, it's one in three that you're living in the Kanto region. If you're not from there, I would assume you are somewhere close to Kansai, like in the southern area, uh, close to, to Osaka and stuff. I've personally been to both the... or I've been to most of the large cities. I've been in Nagoya, a short, short break, like being in the aquarium. I've been in uh, Tokyo for three weeks or something, and I've been in Hiroshima, uh, Kyoto, Nara, um, Niyajima, close to Hiroshima, and where else were we? Obviously at the the castle at the. Oh, I, I just. How's the castle called again? 
between Nara and uh, Hiroshima, like the very famous one. But I really enjoyed my, my time in, in Japan. Oh, my home is near Osaka, but I currently live in Munich. Oh, very nice. So you are actually also learning a bit of uh, German, I would assume. Oh yeah, there was something really funny when I was um, in uh, on Miyajima. We had a, we were staying at the Ryokan for for the night, and we were just talking in Swiss German as we tend to do, my girlfriend and I. And then suddenly this this lady, this um, it's not called a maid. Like the the lady that that, that serves you your food in in a ryokan, suddenly started talking German to us, which was an incredible surprise, which we definitely didn't expect. But it turns out she was staying in uh, in Germany for a year or two as a student, so that was a surprise, and something I will probably remember forever. Which was which one was the castle I was to? Like it, it's the most famous castle in in all of Japan. Let me give you a second. Or most well known, um, well castle in general probably of Japan. Like historically and talking about modern stuffs. It was in uh, Himeji. Yeah, of course. Uh, you can't really see, can you? Himeji Castle we were over there. Went there like, um, went to Japan in 2018, so memory isn't unfortunately that fresh anymore, but uh, I really really have uh, fond memories of it and I hope to be returning maybe next year if I can, if I can afford it, but I can't really say that yet. So let me actually check how well this stream is performing. So I've been... Two views currently? Alright, alright. And we had up to three viewers at some point. Okay, cool. Very nice. And in total we had ten clicks on this video. Damn, this is amazing. I really enjoyed when you guys helped me out with stuff. And uh, I guess this is sort of a success, I guess? Uh, where Novel dish? Uh, I'm sorry, you wanna see what, uh, how the dish is looking? Here it is. It's right there. Um, I've already eaten quite a fair amount of it. Because it's quite tasty. And I will, well, the portion is obviously way too large for one person and, like, one portion. So I'll be having the other part tomorrow for lunch. Just throwing it into the microwave and, well, enjoying it a second time. Oh, you didn't mean Novel, you meant Noel. Uh, Noel dish will be coming in next time. Uh, as you know, this will be a, a pancake, like multiple pancakes stepped uh, on top of each other. Uh, forgot you have girlfriend. <laughs> My girlfriend isn't home at the moment, so no worries, no worries. But yeah, um, the Noel dish will be coming... Actually, when do I have time? Uh, tomorrow I'll have to work, Saturday I have to work. Potentially on Sunday, but I guess my family will be coming over. So definitely not this Sunday. Mm. Wait, what if I steal your food? Thanks. Well, there's some more. Uh, you can have you can have some slices if you want. I mean, it's um, you just have to come to Zurich. I, I will pick you up at the airport. Sure, you can come over. I won't mind. <laughs> Sorry. Touch the microphone by accident. I'm really not used to have the microphone like in front of my face. Not something I'm really used to. Mm. 
But I'm kind of surprised uh, that you even knew in the first play that I have. Well, I, I mentioned it often enough, I guess. Uh, you're gonna pay off my grandparents who let me come? Oh, Jesus. I have to... I have to buy you? Is that what we're talking about? Are we talking about slave trade in the 21st century? Damn. Hope not. Like what? Uh, how old are you? Shouldn't you be... I mean, you're working part-time, I think? So you should be around 16, 18? Something like that, right? So with, uh, with 18 you should technically be able to move abroad if you want to, no? But you'd also need to find a university that would accept you, so that you get a unlimited visa, so to say, or an extended visa of not just six months. Or three months? Was it six or three months? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> not what I meant, but if you need a slave, my own <laughs> price is 1,000 US dollar a month for Genshin. Wow! Jesus! I do be 17, so yeah, you, you technically could move abroad uh, in, in like a year or so. Like once you turn 18, right? Hmm, no way. In the US, everything is, uh, or you count as an adult at 20, right? Not at 18. Not at 18. Like over here in Switzerland, everything is about uh, after after 16. You can do most things, like uh, you can you can buy beer, for example. Um, and at 18, you can buy everything that's legal. So you can buy wine, you can buy heavy liquor, you can start smoking if you want. Most people start earlier, but officially you can start at that age. Yeah. 18 is adult? Okay, so you can... You're legally an adult at 18, but you can only start drinking alcohol at 20. Alright. Strange, but... Um, well, for me, many things are strange in the US. So, yeah. <laughs> There's that. You can say it again, again about the dish. Hmm. Like what it is? This is uh, called. Can I touch this? I can touch this. This is called Jambo au Porto. Porto. Uh, my, my French is terrible. Um, so it is some ham with port wine, usually. So since I don't have that much port wine left and I still have a lot of cooking red wine left, I made 50 50. So 50 milliliters of port wine, 50 milliliters of standard cooking red wine, mixed them together, added a portion of cream, which uh, uh, was turned bad for, um, mix these together, like 125 milliliters of, uh, of cream, mix them together, rolled the, the ham stripes up so that we get these nice rolls, and put afterwards the, the cream wine mixture on top of it and put it in the oven for 20 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius with uh, hot air, like, um, I don't know how, how it's called in English, I think it's just called hot air, where you have like the, the plate in the middle and just everything revolves around it so it gets heated from every side. That's uh, what this is, thing is called. Uh, 21 for alcohol actually, yet at 16 we can drive a vehicle. What the hell? This is very stupid. Uh, ham means which animal? That That is pork. That's uh, pig. Pig or pork, however you want to call it. Um, yeah, like in Switzerland, you can drive some vehicles at the age of 12, like very slow ones, like uh, mopeds, like very small motorcycles, and also tractors uh, is what you can drive at 12 with, a, with an exam. And at 16, you can start with the smaller mo motorcycles, I saw. I'm not quite sure about that part, but at 18 you can do vehicle, or like all kinds of vehicles, also tanks if you need it for the military. Um, yeah, at, at 18 you can do everything in Switzerland. Uh, yes, Lino, the next dish. Oh, Jesus. Um, 
on the next stream I'll be making a um, Noel's special dish. So the multiple pancakes on top of each other with a bit of cream and a strawberry with some chocolate mixed over it. That will be the next dish that I will be trying to do. I have no clue how it's going to turn out because I'm not really used to making um, pancakes. So that will be an experience for all involved. <laughs> Nice food. Will you do vooking? So that's vlog cooking. I mean, why not? Sure. You mean be able to cook in real life, but I can cook fictionally, and and now I'd say mine takes more skill. What? Really? Damn. You will do cooking? Like, uh, yeah. Like I, I already did it. Like this is. Pasta that went well, went together with it, with the ham over here. So yeah. You will, you, will you do only cooking streams? I guess so in the future, yeah. Like that I get one stream basically done every day, if, if the, I can manage it, or like five or so in the future. Don't quite know how yet how I will do it. Maybe I'll also be doing... Um, like one day of the week, like Friday, for example, um, as a cooking stream, like every week or something else. I'm not quite sure yet how I'll be doing it. You want to Genshin again? Uh, sure, I will be going back to Genshin, of course. But um, on YouTube, on YouTube it will be only Genshin. However, on Twitch, I will be doing also some Europa, Universalis, Heart of Iron. Some very different games, but that I have played a lot in the past. I can actually show you how, how much time I already spent on it. Oh, it has to refresh Steam, okay, one second. You saw the game? Y you were joining last stream. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that you came by and I, uh, last time. I can cook to but rice dish. <laughs> I mean, if you have a rice cooker, obviously you can, yeah. That's probably one of the easiest dishes to do then. Oh, you came over! I didn't I didn't know. And you were joining the stream last time on over on Twitch. I think I need to, to go online to actually show you how much time I already spent on it. Um, Europa Universalis 4. I don't think my hours are displayed here. Or not. I have to go online first. One second, please. I probably have to re-log in, right? Yeah, I do. Oh god. My Steam password. Why? I, I don't know that. I can actually hand cook decently. IRL, that's very fortunate. I, c I feel like being able to cook stuff is like one of the import most important things ever. Because if you can cook stuff, you can also organize stuff because like without that, you're screwed. Like really, really screwed. If you send the links, I can join. Like, uh, like on stream next time, or over on Twitch, sure. And I can do. Uh, like I was about to go over on uh, Steam. No. Oh, okay. One of the hardest rice dishes is biryani. I'm not quite sure what this is. Okay, I'll, I'll take your word. I'll take your word. Uh, Steam, I need Steam card. Okay, that worked, so I can, uh, can show it, can show it to you. Uh, I have C4 Kai, but my Kai Rich has a shield now. That's cool though, isn't it? Briani is really that cool, uh, that uh, well known of a dish. I haven't heard of it before. Uh, okay, let me show you my screen. I hope my laptop won't be dying from that one. I could imagine it be dying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. There you can see yourself in the chat. <laughs> what I want to show you is this part here. Like, I've got 2,500. <laughs> And 52 hours in that game. 
and also over here now halo i don't really have much but hearts of iron which is another game that i really played a lot i've got close to 600 hours of uh, playtime yeah that's just just what i wanted to show you like especially eu4 this is like a game i can always go to and just play and i i, I usually perform well so yeah, that that's something i tend to play on uh, over at twitch if you're interested However, my laptop <laughs> probably didn't like that that excursion over to, to the desktop. <laughs> probably didn't. Really didn't. Like, my laptop isn't really made for big gaming. I just have like an, an NVIDIA MX150, if you have any idea what this is. It's not really a, a solid graphics card. It is enough for basic things. Like uh, some simple accelerations, but other than that, it's terrible. Well, in Fortnite, I must have like many days. <laughs> okay. Mm, Save 6 is usually the game I play. It's strategy based. Okay. Sure. I mean, I've, uh, I'm used to play C5 a lot. Not really C6, I didn't really get into it. Most of my friends just don't enjoy it, enjoy it as much. You watch Uncle Roger video on YouTube? No, I don't, unfortunately. I don't play Fortnite uh, now, but uh, some years ago the game was really good. Yeah, it was also like everybody was playing it. At some point even I was playing it a couple of rounds, but I just was never really good at it. And um, that's actually a lie. I, I think I won one or two times, but it was just not my game, not my kind of, uh, my kind of game. Damn it. Stupid drop. Two hundred fifty days in Minecraft. I don't like shooters. <laughs> Two hundred fifty days in Minecraft. That's not bad. I bet I'm fairly close to it actually. I r r used to like play Minecraft a shit ton. Coco is coming to Fortnite, so I hear. Yeah, <laughs> kind of silly. But um, honestly, I don't really know much about Fortnite anymore. Like, I've been invested so little, and so long ago. Like, just when the hype was starting, like, it was already four years ago or something. I played, like, for the first two months, and then I just quit it again, because I really didn't enjoy it. Uh, I really liked some modes, like 50 versus 50. I mean, these things are usually fun, and you have, like, super big battles. I can, I can see that. You play Minecraft quite a bit, that's nice. You play PUBG for at least two years, damn. Is this game still, like, really popular at all? I, I thought it was, like, also really dead by now. I don't even hear about Fortnite anymore. Yeah, I only hear sometimes or see it on, uh, on Twitch, uh, on Twitter, like some random posts, but other than that, I don't really see it as well. Alright, um, I'm about to finish things up here, and later I would be doing some uh, Genshin streams again. Um, would you uh, like me to do it here on YouTube or over on Twitch? I don't really care where you prefer it, or wh where you want it, I, I can do both now. I've set the stream up correctly. Maybe I can even put it on both streams. Oh, well, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Potentially I can. Okay, I see you guys prefer YouTube over <laughs> over Twitch. All right, well, I guess we'll be going with YouTube then. Do you have like any fitting title? Um, we're still fighting, or are working on Fischl's um, castle. At least we're like one, there are two thirds through to Fischl's story. So, we might be getting up about halfway through to Monas, and then we only have to do the challenges, and um, 
and we're through with it. And I guess we're just on time because I think it's on either on Sunday or Monday as things are over, and that's just perfectly from the timing because I don't really have time a lot of time tomorrow, and neither on Saturday. But on Sunday we'll have some time maybe. Yeah, it depends on my if my family comes over. Or if they stay at home. All Twitch streamers are coming to YouTube? Why? Do you know why that is? I haven't really noticed it as such, but maybe. I guess you can just reach a way bigger audience on YouTube than over on uh, Twitch. And I would assume YouTube's copyright system is probably far more advanced than uh, the one on Twitch. So Sumiru is so close, which by the way I won't be watching your stream right away when Sumiru releases since I won't... I don't want spoilers. Spoilers, okay. Well, actually, you've got to know that I haven't... that I'm not even on the current, uh, like, point in the in the story. So I first have to finish Dane Slave's other quest, which was released in 2.7, which I didn't quite get to yet. So I still have to do that, so chances that you get spoiled are not really that great. I think I have to make the story quest first, but I'm, I'm not quite sure. Also this time I won't be <laughs> starting the stream like it in the early, very early hours. Oh jeez, I wait, made way too much, oh boy. You can't even see the ham anymore. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Uh, half a kilo was definitely very optimistic. I guess I'll be making some more pasta in the next couple of days. Like, you can't even see the ham anymore. There you go. Like, the ham is at the very, very bottom. I can't really turn it around, but... Like, this, is, this thing is about... What is this? About five centimeters high. And it's filled to the brim with pasta. <laughs> Okay, boy. Okay. So I'll guess I'll be eating tomorrow lunch. Um, just some pasta with uh, tomatoes, I think. Tomato sauce. Or, no, tomorrow I will be eating it with ham, and the day after I will be taking it to work with some tomato sauce, which I still have to prepare. Not want to waste anything, if possible. Don't want a food waste. Uh, are you big enough? I, I I hope you're... No, you're round, so I'll be needing that one. Right. Just to make sure that you that this thing lasts as long as you can, you take you put things like these over, like a foil, I guess? Some reusable plastic foil. And put it over the thing so it won't be touching fresh air as much. And then you just put it in the fridge and take the amount that you need for your next meal out. And, well, put the rest back in. That it won't uh, get bad as that fast. Usually you can also let uh, it sit for a while, let it lose some more heat. But today that's fine, we don't need that much anymore. Obviously, usually you would also clean your plates and stuff, but this is very noisy, and I'm, uh, I'm lazy. Um, which I'm not gonna, which I'm not gonna do now. I will be do it, uh, doing that later after the stream. Oh, I didn't read the chat for it that long. I will play Genshin in some days. Let's go. Cool. Like there was some.
Does this one work? <gasps> it does work. Okay. So, uh, for some reason, my headset is not detected anymore. I guess that's a mark that we should stop and switch over to the desktop. I don't know what, quite what I was about uh, to say, but uh, I kind of forgot. Like, what I probably what I still have to do uh, on, in the current version of the, of the patch, which is a fair amount still. So, yeah, I won't, I won't be doing all the world quests that I have open. <laughs> A little scuffed, I see. Yeah, my, my other headset just died for some reason. Uh, but we'll be switching over to to the desktop soon. So, uh, see you again in a couple of seconds. Uh, I will be making a new stream though, so maybe check out the channel and see when the other one goes live. Bye bye.